Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are talking about a very important subject. Actually, I saw this in my closet earlier and I thought this was perfect for the occasion because I haven't worn it because we love ourselves, right? We're gonna get there, if not, okay. So this is actually my first sit down video, so that's exciting, I plan to do more. But anyways, let's get into why we're here. So I have a TikTok and I've had a lot of comments asking, how are you so confident while being tall? Can you tell us how you're so confident while being tall? And I'm gonna share those tips with you. I've seen people say like, they don't like to wear heels cause they're tall. No, we're not doing none of that. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. After this video, your life will change. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Growing up, I was very insecure of my height. I would say until ninth grade, which I guess isn't that long, but it felt like a long time, you know? Especially being in middle school, you're really tall. It can feel weird, especially like when you're the tallest girl in your grade, you know? I was like five, seven in like eighth grade, you know? It'd be like that. First thing, is your mindset, okay? Before we even get into like the other things, you have to realize that you're tall. You're always gonna be tall. There's nothing you can do about it. So you can either be sad about it and not wanna take up space in the room or take up space in the room and be unapologetically proud of your tallness. Self-love is a first. I feel like in society, sometimes people make it seem like tall girls are weird or abnormal but you have to change your perspective okay because when i view myself as tall i feel like i'm elegant i feel like i'm show stopping i feel like i'm powerful do you know what i mean first tip is posture and this is a big one okay because even if you don't feel confident walking into a room if you act like it and embody yourself as confident you will appear as confident and you will feel confident. I'm gonna show you the difference. So in this clip, I'm slouching. I don't look confident. I look scared. Okay, what is that doing for you? Nothing. The second clip, I'm walking with my shoulders up, my chin up. I'm walking like I'm not, you know what? I'm not even gonna cuss, but you know what I mean? So posture is a really big, that's, that's one of the biggest things that you could work on, first of all. Next time you go anywhere in public, walk like you're on a runway. Walk like you are powerful. I think that's going to be the main key word of this video, powerful. And I'm going to keep saying it. Also, let's remember that just because people are staring at you does not mean that they think that you're some scary creature or that you're weird, okay? I like to go by the law of assumption. So I don't really know what you're thinking about me, but I'm gonna assume that you're thinking that I look like a goddess. You think, you're think you thinking, wow, like she is very tall and beautiful. If you were a shorter person or even a tall person and you saw a tall girl walk into a place, you might stare because you're amazed at how tall and beautiful they are. That doesn't mean that you're looking at them in a bad way. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, let's get that out of the narrative. People are staring at you. Okay, whatever, you're staring at me. Yeah, because I look good and I'm tall. Like you have to realize you're tall. Do you know what I'm saying? So you need to stop caring if people are staring at you because that used to be a big thing for me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. You're unique, you're different and you were born this way and you're gonna own it okay i got me a little list right here so i don't because i don't want to miss anything i really don't want to miss anything this is a really important video and i wish that i had this video when i was younger so next um okay this is a good one comebacks okay i know for me I used to hate when people would comment on my height or when boys would make fun of my height or when anyone would comment because it would just make me feel like crap. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you some comebacks that you can use if someone wants to say something to you. So one that people will get a lot is like, oh, wow, you're so tall. And normally people will go like, yeah, you know, no, we're not doing that. So if someone says, oh my gosh, you're so tall, you say, 
I know. This literally happened to me yesterday at the grocery store. Like, this guy was walking past me and I was just looking at the ranches in the dressing aisle. And he was like, like he looked down at my feet to make sure I wasn't wearing heels. And he was like, whew, you're tall. And I was like, yeah, I know. And he just like kept walking. Cause like, it is what it is, you know? So don't let that type of stuff mess with your head. In high school, I used to get called KD, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. I learned that when you act confident, people will not mess with you, like literally. Usually the guys that make fun of you are shorter than you. Like 98% of the time they are shorter than you, which is like the crazy part, right? So if it was a guy that was shorter than me and they were like, they call it like they're making fun of me, whatever they're doing, I would be like, Maybe you'll catch up one day. And you have to look down at them. Like, you have to like, maybe you'll catch up one day. I promise they will not mess with you again. <laughs> Just how they talk about your height, talk about their height. Cause I like being tall. Even if you don't like being tall, act like you like being tall and you will like being tall eventually. So if they're the same height as you, you can be like, looks like we're the same height, huh? If they're taller than you, you could be like, Looks like I'm catching up to you, huh? And that's it. Don't argue with them. Cause it's funny. It's funny. I'm not affected by what you just said to me. You know what I mean? And it's just about being sarcastic and not caring. 90% of the guys that make fun of your height would, would date you if they could, or if they were tall enough. And a lot of them feel like they can't because they're shorter than you. So don't, we're not even gonna, don't let that affect you. What's next? Mm. And um, I would say like, was that 10th grade, maybe ninth grade? I was talking to a guy that was like, maybe like, maybe the same height as me, maybe like an inch shorter than me. And it made me really insecure. Like now it wouldn't, but like at the time it did, you know? And I didn't like that. So I don't really date guys unless they're like 6'2". And yeah, that um, can seem shallow and like, okay, yeah, if you fell in love with somebody that's like 5'7", okay, cool. But like for me personally, I feel more comfortable if a guy is taller than me, that's just what it is. So it's finding what's comfortable for you. I have people say like, Maya, you're so picky, like, you're never gonna find a guy like you're so picky like about height and like I'm allowed to be picky because it's my love life <laughs> it's my relationship and it's my comfortability and it's your comfortability and if you're comfortable with the guy being taller than you if that makes you feel better then do that because that's what I do <laughs> okay let's talk about heels this is a very important subject because the the main comments that I get from girls are that they don't feel comfortable wearing heels because they are so tall. What you have to realize is that when you wear heels, you literally look like a goddess. People are going to stare. You're going to catch the attention of everybody in the room because more than likely you're like 6'1 in heels or 6'2 or 6'3 or 6 foot, okay? Or 5'11, however tall, whatever tall is to you. My tall girls will understand, like if you're not confident in yourself, you walk in a room, people are staring because you're tall you feel like attacked, like everyone's just staring at you, right? But if you switch, this goes back to like your mindset. If you switch your mindset and think everybody's staring at me right now because I look so good and I'm so tall and they're mesmerized, it makes such a difference. Yeah, I'm tall, I'm a goddess, I'm powerful, I'm amazing. Like, look how long I am. Not a lot of people get to be tall like us. Do you know what I'm saying? So use that to your advantage. You're unique. You're not like everybody else. And that should make you happy. Something that also helped me um, as far as like being around people is walking down the hallway in school with my earphones in. So like I would wear like a really cute outfit to school and put earphones in like Beyonce, whatever your hype music is, right? And walk down the hallway like you were literally on a runway. Walk down the hallway like you were in a movie because I feel like my life is a movie and I'm the main character. So you're the main character. Walk down that hallway. Everyone else are extras. 
to your movie. Do you know what I mean? And just really own it. So if you're still in school, do it. If you're in college, do it. Um, if you live in places where you walk, like New York, wherever, do it. It's so liberating. Please just do it. You will see what I mean. I was very determined to become confidently tall that I did so many things that actually helped. I went to the grocery store and I also went to Walmart. So I would do this like all the time. And I would put on heels because the store is the last place that you would probably want to wear heels as a tall girl, right? <laughs> so that's what I did because it builds character, okay? And I walk in the store with my heels on. Do you know how many people stare? It's actually insane. But you just, when you become immune to everything around you, your world will literally, it will literally change. That will help tremendously, actually. Please do it. Next time you go to the store, put on some heels. And also put in your earphones if you want to. Who's stopping you? This is your life. I have a clothing store for tall girls. I have jeans, sweatpants, tracksuits, and we're about to get some cargo pants in stock in the next month. So if you need pants and you're tall, check it out. Link will be in the bio, four, five, six. Those are all the tips I have for this video. If y'all want a part two, let me know. I love chatting with y'all. I really hope that the tips I gave you can help somebody, one person. And I love y'all. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye.